Williams had to go to Nathaniel's room to have a small chat with him. Hey, little man, how are you? I'm fine, Dad. How are you too? I'm good. I hope you're not here to lecture me, please. I am not in the mood, Dad. Hmm. Nathaniel, I just got off the phone with your teacher. And she said, you are not performing well in class. And I know why. Why is your grade so poor? Dad, it's nothing. I will improve. No problem. I wasn't even expecting you to tell me the reason why. So, I made an arrangement to bring you a home tutor. That is, a home lesson teacher. Ah, Dad, you have enough trouble on your head already. And you are here, thinking of bringing another wahala to yourself. Do you love my mom? Yes, I do. Of course, I do. So, I am begging you with everything you hold dear. Don't bring any tutor to this house. If you try it, you might, or you will lose your woman. You might lose my mother if you try it. I already told you, I will work on my studies. If you insist on this, that you are your own. No. This boy, who are you? You just switched to another personality in seconds, as you did while in the sitting room with Sandra. Who was that? I am your son. I am not a stranger. Why are you asking me who am I? Anyways, Dad, forget all that talk. I am your son. And I will always speak the truth. So, my mom's birthday is coming up. And please, don't frown your face. Because I already know how the two of you conceived me through a birthday party. Which was pretty cool. Isn't it that? Love at first sight. Hmm. How old are you, Nathaniel? And how did you even know that you were conceived through a birthday party? Nathaniel ignored his father's question and continued to talk. He held his father's hand and said to him, Dad, my mom, she wore a beautiful orange gown that made her look stunning. And you were on a white cloth that make you look handsome and attractive. You both, you ate a brownies and ended up bringing me into this world. So that the list goes on and on and on and it doesn't end. So let me ask you again, how are you preparing for my mother's birthday? She hasn't celebrated her birthday in six years just because of what happened to the two of you. But now that um, this thing that happened to the two of you have turned into love. So I want to celebrate my mom's birthday this year and you will have to make it happen, Dad. Wait, Nathaniel. Did you just switch from talking about your academics to talking about your mother's birthday and even how we consummate you? Now, wow, you know, it's your character. It has been really, really weird recently. Please, what is going on in my house? Dad, I don't think you should be bothered about me right now. Bother about yourself oh. <laughs> because you will be receiving shock 
upon shock soon. <laughs> oh, sorry for laughing, but dad, I am being serious. Do whatever suits you, but my mother's birthday is happening this time around, okay? Yes, sir. About your mother's birthday, I will ask her if she wants to celebrate it before anything else can happen. No problem, Dad. But I promise you, Mom will definitely agree. That morning, Sarah woke up looking so angry. What was that attitude William's mother put up immediately she saw that boy? But, wait, oh, on a serious note, that boy is William's replica. Jeez, William's vomited that boy. What can I do? I can't lose William's. And I can't let another woman take away my man. I need to call Henry and talk to him. I am so confused right now. Sarah immediately called Henry on the phone. Hello, I need to talk to you about something very important. Ah, what is it, Sarah? I hope you know that it is not safe for you to be calling me in that house. Someone can overhear our conversation and all our secrets will be out in the open. That is why I am calling you Henry. Where can we meet, please? Okay. We can meet at my usual spot, the bar. Fine. The bar it is then. I am coming out right now. I am very anxious. Sarah left the house and went straight to the bar. As she got there, Henry was already waiting for her. So, what is up, Sarah? You successfully moved in yesterday inside William's house, right? Yes, I did. And something strange happened that yesterday. What happened? When we got to William's house, his mother was so pissed at Bianca. After Williams came back, he instructed us to leave his house. He was very serious and angry, saying that we are going to bring havoc to Bianca and he can't allow that. Could you imagine? But even when Williams' mother threatened him, hmm, do you know he did not still agree? He refused. But guess what happened next? What happened, please? You know I'm not good with guessing. It was Bianca that said we can stay. And Williams foolishly agreed immediately without a blink. I was so shocked and surprised. What? That girl... She wrapped her fingers around Williams. There is something, there is something she's not saying. I don't know how she did all that. Though. It was my first time also seeing Bianca and William's son. Henry, that boy, is the photocopy and carbon copy of Williams, as in no DNA needed. Are you serious? I haven't even seen him for once. I am very serious, oh. The boy is so cute. Immediately, William's mother set her eyes on that boy. Her heart melts immediately for him. Do you know that? That boy faced me and threatened me, saying that my heart is bitter. And I should stay clear of his mother. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Not be smart, you know. Seriously. 
that small boy. Yes, so as he finished insulting me and left, I asked William's mother to punish him. But do you know what this woman did? This woman warned me to stay clear of her grandson. I was shocked though. If this woman finally loved her grandson, hmm, Henry, our plans won't work. Oh. Hmm. She said that? Yes, she did. Hmm. Sarah, we need to spice things up now that you are inside that house. Remove anybody that is on your way. Ah, Henry. I won't kill anybody. I won't be a murderer, please. I never said you should kill anybody. But if you have to do it, Sarah, you have to do it. This is for our future, remember? You remember what William's father stole from my own father? And he ended up taking all of the game to himself. And Williams now inherited all the wealth after he died. There was nothing for me, me that worked my butt off for years for that company, nothing for me. So you must penetrate and get everything for us. Keep that in mind. You don't love Williams. It is me you love, right? So use your head at all times. Okay, fine. I know, Henry. That is why I am here. We need a good plan. Now, see. See what is going to happen. That little boy. Avoid him at all costs. Then, if you ever come across him, Show him some love. The target is not even him. The target is Bianca. Once we remove Bianca on the way, you can have Williams. Then you can send the boy to Williams' mother. Anyways, I don't care about him. But now, be nice to Bianca. Make sure she doesn't suspect a thing. And this is the perfect plan I could come up with. Hmm. I love it. The plan is so good, Henry. Let me get to work immediately. As Sarah left the bar, she went straight home. As she got home, she met Nathaniel reading a book. And the book the boy was reading is way above his age. Hi, Nathaniel. Hi, Auntie Sarah. See what we have here. Are you back from your real boyfriend's place? Or should I say one of your boyfriend's place? So, what did you to plot this time? Sarah, she was standing there looking short. But she ignored all Nathan said to her. And said to him, why are you reading a book that is above your age? Are you even understanding what the book is even saying at all? We are supposed to be reading novels that have simpler understanding for your age. Wait, were you trying to change the topic just now, Aunt Sarah? That is not fair at all. So, Auntie Sarah, you don't even love my father. That is so bad. Just because of money. Ty, you know, they say money is the root of all evil. I know you must have heard it a lot of times, but you pay deaf ears to it. So, let me remind you again. Money is the root of all evil 
that thing you are planning, Auntie Sarah, that thing you are planning with Henry, hmm, it's all work, oh. Don't bother showing me fake love or start to be nice to my mother. Remember, I warned you, if you want to get to my mother, you must get to me first. Remember that, Auntie Sarah. You don't know what I am capable of. Let me warn you again. Stay clear. Leave my parents alone. Leave them alone, no. Hmm. The consequences are bad, though. I must warn you again. Do not let me strike you. Sarah couldn't hold it. She lost it immediately and angrily shouted at Nathaniel. Will you stop talking? Will you shut up this little rat? What gave you the right to talk to me like that? Are you okay? Don't you know I am older than you? And I can stop you. I can slap you. I will put you in your place right now. Wow. Just wow. Auntie Sarah, if I were you, you be calm down and stop getting unnecessarily angry. You won't have the mind to do what you just said. Because if you try it, ah, you won't like the outcome. Like I said earlier, I will punish you in a way you will surely love it. <laughs> just then, as Nathaniel was talking and laughing, he cited William's mother coming. He left Sarah immediately and went to William's mother. Hello, Grandma. Good morning, Grandma. How was your night? Hmm. Good morning, Nathaniel. My night was fine. And did you sleep well? Yes, Grandma, I did. What? It's just that someone decided to spoil my money. But it is fine, Grandma. No, it is not fine. No. Nathaniel, who is that person that has the mind to spoil your money? Is it not your lovingly friend's daughter, Auntie Sarah? She spoils my money by saying, I shouldn't read the book that I have read three good times. She said, I should be reading children's novel that I can't understand this book. Well, Grandma, this is my third time reading this book. She just belittled me, and that is not fair, Grandma. <laughs> is that all? I thought this was something way more serious. My dear Nathaniel, calm down. She's just consigned. So, just take it as a joke, my dear. But, I would love to talk to you. What is it about, Grandma? I want to know your hobbies and the type of things you love. I will buy them for you from now onwards. Sarah stood there looking shocked and hungry. She wasn't expecting that kind of bond. That William's mother is showing to Nathaniel. Meanwhile, as all these were going on, Nathaniel and Bianca were standing, looking happy, as they stood admiring the bond between their son and William's mother. So, sweet pie, it seems you made the best decision letting my mother stay here. She's getting fond of our son. Yes, I'm seeing it to Williams. So, my love, what do you want to do on your birthday this year? You know, it is coming up really fast. My birthday? Williams, you know I don't want to celebrate my birthday. Oh. I don't celebrate my birthdays. What are you talking about? 
babe. I want to give you the best birthday this year, my love. So, how do you want to celebrate it? Williams, no. No. Don't waste your money. I don't want any celebration this year. See, you're on your own. I already made up my mind. You are celebrating your birthday. What is there to be scared after all? We have strived. We are together now. What are you scared of? Okay, fine. You win. Well, if I don't win your heart, who else will? Come here, Joe. Give me a kiss, please. No, I won't. Uh -uh. Williams, your mother is there. And the same mother is playing and chatting with our son. Will you give it to me freely or should I take it by force? <laughs> no, please. Stop it. Williams pulled Bianca closer to him and gave her a passionate kiss. While Sarah was standing there looking envious of them, she couldn't bear the sight of them kissing. She angrily left the sitting room for them. What the heck? Why on earth all this happening to me? Why is everything not going my way? That small boy, that church rat, he just embarrassed me. And he even told me about my own plans with Henry. He also knew about me and Henry. Ah, this is bad news. Ah, who, the, who is this boy? The heck is this boy? Who is he? I really need to find out who this boy is. Sarah decided to cook food that evening for everyone. She first told William's mother that she wants to cook dinner for everyone. William's mother was surprised. Are you sure? You know Bianca can cook and serve us, right? Yes, Mama. I know, but let me do the cooking myself, please. Okay, if you want that, you can go ahead and cook. Just make sure it is delicious. Yes, Mama, I will. You can trust me now. You have been eating my food and you know I'm a good cook. Sarah entered the kitchen and happily started to cook. As she was done, Nathaniel appeared from nowhere. And this startled Sarah. Hey, what is it again, this boy? Why are you scaring me like this? What do you want? Auntie, you know when they say there is no peace for the wicked, eh? That is really true. How did I startle you or make you scared? This is my father's house. Am I not allowed to go inside the kitchen and come out as I want? Except you have a hidden agenda. Anyways, Auntie Sarah, I want nothing. I just came here to tell you, or rather, remind you that doing evil is not good. That thing you are planning, Auntie Sarah, don't do it though. I'm a very good boy. My parents raised me well. That is why I am here. To tell you this. Don't do it. Or you won't like the outcome. Nathaniel left. And Sarah ignored him. And continued with what she was doing. After she dished the whole food out. And the one she wants to serve to Bianca. She looked around. And. She added something to the food and smiled, hoping that her plan would work. As she served the food to everyone and they all started to eat their food. Sarah was so happy eating her own food. Not until a few minutes later, she started to feel funny. She was so uncomfortable. William's mother, first noticed 
and asked her if she's all right. She replied yes. But few seconds later, Sarah fat, a very loud fat, and everyone was shocked. I am sorry. I, I am sorry. I can't understand what's going on. What's going on with me? I don't know what's happening to me. My tummy is making so much noise and I don't know. I am so sorry for that. As Sarah was still talking, another loud fart escaped from her buttocks immediately. And this time around, the smell was really bad. Hey, Sarah. What is it now? Do you want to kill us here? What is the meaning of this? If you want to fight, you excuse yourself. I am sorry. Ah, God. I have totally lost my appetite. William's mother angrily left her food. Even Bianca and Williams, they also left their food. They were really pissed and angry. Nathaniel, who was sitting on his own laughing, when Sarah sighted him, laughing so loudly, she yelled at him, What is funny? And how did you switch the food? I was holding my food all along. How did you switch it? Auntie Sarah, doesn't matter how the food was switched. For well, right now, you should be bothered about yourself. You just embarrassed yourself in front of everyone. <laughs> this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you ever think of harming my mother again, you won't like the outcome. Remember, I always love to run before I strike. Enjoy! You're fatting. <laughs> Nathaniel left, and Sarah stood there very disappointed and embarrassed. Just then, the next fat escaped again, but this time around, with a running stomach. She had to rush to the toilet immediately, while Nathaniel was standing behind her, laughing at her so badly. For your mind, you think you are smart. Wait and see. If you don't behave yourself, you will collect nonsense. Nathaniel said to himself. Meanwhile, Lucy and Naomi started their plot on how to ruin Bianca and for Naomi to have Williams to herself. Naomi started to stalk Williams. She would follow him secretly every blessed day to know his routine. So she can come in the picture perfectly like it wasn't planned. There is this restaurant Williams loved to use for all his clients meeting. Naomi figured it out and planned her meeting with Williams. One evening, Naomi dressed up so beautifully and went to the same restaurant to pretend she came to eat. As she got there, she sighted Williams and went to him straight, but she pretended to have seen him by surprise. Hey, is this not Williams? Henry's cousin? Yes, who is asking? Wow, Williams, you haven't even changed. But you look more handsome now. I must say. Oh, sorry, my bad. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Naomi. I am Lucy's best friend. Lucy is the boyfriend to Henry, your cousin. Well, Lucy and I, we are good friends with Bianca. Bianca? Yes, Bianca. But Bianca never mentioned that you two 
are friends. For over six years now, I haven't heard her say anything about Lucy and Naomi. Well, maybe because we were secondary school friends. We were besties back then in school. Oh, that must be the reason why she didn't mention you or your friend. Anyways, it's nice to meet you, Naomi. Likewise here, Williams. It is my pleasure to meet you. Can I join you if you don't mind? Well, Naomi, I do mind because I am expecting a client in minutes. Maybe next time, okay? Please don't be offended. I'm actually waiting for a business client. Don't be angry. Sure, no problem. I won't be angry only if you agree to hang out with me again or probably see again. Can I have your number so that we can hang out as friends? Hmm. Now me, I'm a very busy man. But I think you can give me your number. Yeah. You giving me your number will be better. I will call you whenever I am free. So we can see as friends, as you said. Okay. That is perfect. Naomi immediately gave Williams her number and left. She went straight to Lucy's house. When she got there, Lucy saw how happy she was looking. Wow, you are looking so happy, baby girl. Does this mean that everything we planned, it was successful? How did it go? Oh, I'm so anxious. Tell me now. Just me. What happened? Hi, Lucy. That plan was perfect. He bought the whole idea. Eh? Funny enough, if not that, Williams was expecting some clients. See, girl, we would have sat and talked. Then, I would have enchanted him. But since he was expecting some business client he pleaded with me that he will call me so that we can hang up next time he even collected my number wow this is good news yes so so now it is time for our next plan we need to visit bianca's house to make our story believable yes 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 you are correct Tomorrow, we move. The next day, they visited Bianca's house. It was Nathaniel that opened the door for them. Hey, fine boy. How are you? I am fine, as you can see. What are the two of you doing here? If I may ask. Well, we are here to see your mother. We are her friends. No, you two are not here to see my mom. And you two are not my mother's friend. That I know for sure. And I know you are here for my dad. I know what you two are planning. And I only came to open the door for you two to warn you to stay far away from my parents. You can't destroy what you don't know. Or rather, you will end up getting the worst pain in life. Hmm. I said my own no. Just then, Sarah walked in and asked Lucy and Naomi who they were and what they were doing in her home. Naomi was shocked. Your home? Yes. This is my soon-to-be home. Williams, he is my fiancé. And who are you two? Okay, interesting. We are Bianca's friend. Ah, ah. Bianca's friend, CK. Ah, this must be a lie. The holy girl 
is keeping this kind of friends. I mean, she's just a pretender. And pretenders, they always do the worst. I knew it. Hey, don't insult us. Lucy shouted at Sarah. Don't even try it. What do you mean by she's keeping this kind of friends? And what is wrong with us? Everything is wrong with the two of you. Did the two of you look at the mirror before coming out of your house? Look at what you are wearing. Eh? Look at what you wore to someone's house. Short mini gown. Are you here to seduce someone? Now, wow. What is your name again? You are so mannerless. Instead of you to go in there and call Bianca for us, you are here insulting us. For what exactly? See, I am warning you too, in case you have a hidden agenda. Sarah left, and a few minutes later, Bianca came out and was surprised to see them. Ah, uh -uh. what are the two of you doing here? You didn't even call me. To tell me you were coming. We are so sorry, Jare. We are in the neighborhood. So we decided to come visit you. Oh, that is so trustful of you guys. You're welcome. And we also got you gifts, Bianca. Wow. Really? Thanks so much. I truly appreciate this. Thank you, guys. So, what do you want to eat? Or drink, let me make it available immediately. We want nothing, just get us water. We we actually wanted to know if you would like to follow us. Let us take you out and let us eat out if you don't mind. Hmm, you guys are lucky today. I actually don't have anything doing, so that would be really nice. Let me get you guys water before I get dressed. As Bianca left, Naomi was busy looking around to see if she can sight Williams. But it seems Williams wasn't home. Lucy, it's like Williams is not home. Yet. Yeah, I noticed that too. Just as they were talking, Williams came back and Naomi jumped up from her seat and started to flirt with him. Hi, Williams. Oh, Naomi, it's you. We met at the restaurant yesterday, right? Yes, we did. And you haven't even called me as you promised. That is not fair, Williams. We actually came to see our friend Bianca and we want to take her out for lunch. I hope you don't mind, Williams. And to be fair, you can also join us if you are less busy. Well, I would have loved to join you guys, but I don't think that would be possible. Yes, my father is correct. That won't be possible. Two of us, we are planning my mother's birthday. So, he's busy. Right, Dad? Yes. So, it's um Bianca's birthday next weekend. And we are both planning the birthday. So, I am so sorry. There is no chance. Wait. Bianca's birthday? Yes, Bianca's birthday is next weekend. And me and our son... We wanted to plan something special for her. So that is why I can't follow you guys out. I hope you guys are not angry, please. No, 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 no. Sure. We are not angry. And you two are invited. Even though I know Bianca, she would tell you by herself. So you two can take Bianca out for lunch. And please, I beg you, bring her back in one piece. 
no scratch. Okay? No problem, Williams. We will. What is Naomi and Lucy's plan for Bianca? And Sarah, what will she do now that her plan backfired on her? Find out in the next part of the story. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't. Please kindly share with your friends and your loved ones. Support Nina personally by buying her a coffee. The link is on the description of this story or on my bio. See you on the next one. Goodbye and God bless you.